That's what he plays best. That's what he knows best. And it's on the board. Another French? What is this epidemic? Tanya. The French. This is Anish Giri's fault. Publishing a chess, uh, everything's Anish Giri's fault. Publishing a chessable course has just uh, corrupted the, uh, the chess players around the world with the French defense. Okay. Wow. Harry the H4 James. Let's go! Let's go! Ah! Yeah, that's every time I see you, this type of chess, I just get hyped because it is aggressive. H4, Harry H Bond, the ideas are very simple. We just want to go and make you uh, make mistakes. Then go for me. Like, really, what it is. Quick G4, H5, Rook H3, Rook G3, Rook F3, like all kind of just push everything to that side of the board and just go for me. Now, of course, Black can just you know, go the other way, caps the clean side. But it's very aggressive. Aggressive chess is a very fun chess. As you do that. Now, what do you make of this opening choice by Abdu Satoru? He's one point up in the match. He doesn't need to take huge risks, but this is a really, really double edged opening deck. Listen, I know Black scores pretty well in this structure, actually. I tried the French four times in my classical chess career. I'm 0 and 4. Wow. And the most painful game was against, I forget his name is evading me, some grandmaster during the 2017 US Championship. Fabiano Caruana beat me in 26 moves. In this exact structure where I played an early C4, and he just checkmated me down on the king side with a rook left, rook h3, rook g3. That's pretty standard fare. Rook h4, rook g4. Obviously, Black has his own stuff going on the other side of the board. This personally is not my cup of tea, but Noderbeck, you said it, whatever he plays, he studies really intensely. He is not one just to experiment with the random stuff. Uh, the G4 to advance down the board is given an opportunity to strike on the king side. Things can get super tricky for Noderbeck if he does go short side castling. Is it a good idea for him to keep the king in the center for the time being? Oh, absolutely not. In fact, actually, with this structure here, the reason why you go C4 a lot of times is you actually can run to the queen side. You can cap the queen side. The bishop on A4 is actually a really nice too as well. What you can actually do, really enough, is after you move the knight in, you castle queen side. The queen goes to G8 and then over to H7.
survive, and this is a draw, Bobby ain't gonna be hurt. That's gonna be a that's a sight. That's a sight part there that you're gonna have to get over very quickly because there's still match left. Fourth pair's down to under a minute now. Yeah, well, we meant this end game with White having an extra rook and then an extra bishop. Fabi had almost four minutes, so he's burned most of his clock already. He better find a win now, otherwise the panic will be setting in. He does go with that uh, with that of retreating the white rope, aiming to check from the front. I did it. You can see the tension on Fabi's face. I think he also expected this to be game over for Nodebeck to just resign at any moment with the resistance that Nodebeck is putting up. Fabi's feeling the tension right now. And you've cut off his head. You've cut off his limb. Uh -huh. He's still like he's still inflicting pain. Okay, but Fabi just a couple couple accurate moves away, but B4 and A3 of those pawns. Alex might still think of Alexander there. B4 now. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. This is crazy. Rook A1. A3. C3. Oh. Rook A3. Back. Back. Yeah, I think Black just can't make progress past A3. Yeah. Stuck with Black. But this is amazing stuff by Nani Bag. I mean, regardless of how this ends, the fact that he found this resource in 94, marching down the board fearlessly with. G5. This is amazing. Oh, totally. Z5. It's on the board. <laughs> Reflection. Why not distract the opponent? Throw everything at him. Throw everything at him. Pawns of the soul of chess. That's what we. That's what we're taught. <laughs> and <then> they, <laughs> that's all he's got. <laughs> chess. Uh, sack the king. He's doing everything. Sacrifice the king. I understand. Okay, this should be the killer blow now. This ball's dropping. Okay. You can't push the beef on, and that's the problem with Black's position. With a bishop on that side. Don't pick up the chief four pawn just yet. Happy smiling as well. It did take some work. I think this is in a long time a position that Fabi had to win, being up a rook, being up a bishop. It's not a task that he's put to every day, but not.